everybody. <laughs> Continuing the Christmas theme on the, you know, wilty festivities or whatever, we have This Is My John, Feet Rachel Riley. Don't know who that is. Lee Mack, know who that one is. Ricky Thomas Linson. Don't know who that is, but I know who that guy is. The, oh, the, this guy. This guy, Josh. Whittacomb? Wintercomb? Something like that. Anyway, uh, yes. Also, I am well aware I have a rash on my face. Uh, I bought my, I, I bought myself a new, lovely, supposedly not, you know, allergizing or whatever product for my face. My face did not like it, so she raged. But um, it'll, it's fine. It'll be gone in a couple days, so. I just, I want to address it because I am very, very, very aware it is there. So just ignore it, all right? I brought it to your attention for you to ignore it, which is the best way <laughs> to get somebody to ignore it is you mention it. <laughs> but whatever, stop looking at it. Okay, anyway, um, I'm all over the place today. One would think I'm drunk. Am I? I'll leave that, guy. I'll leave that to you. I'll leave that up to you guys. <laughs> What's wrong with me? I don't know. I, this is a Christmas spirit. Anyway, let's watch this. I am excited. Please welcome this week's special guest, John. John. There we go. He came out with a Christmas sweater and everything. So, uh, Rachel, what is John to you? This is John. He comes to Countdown every single day and presents me with a freshly baked cake. Ricky, uh, what is John I'm to sorry, you? he what? This is John. Wait. Cake. This is John. He comes countdown every single day. He comes countdown? What does that even mean? He yeah, presents me with a... John to you. Sorry. This is John. He comes countdown every single day and presents me with a freshly baked cake. Okay. Ricky, <laughs> uh, what is John to you? This is John. If he hadn't decided to join my band, he could have been in the Beatles. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, Lee, what's your relationship with John? This is John. After my mate John was involved in an accident, I went to visit him in hospital, but I mistakenly sat next to this John's bed <laughs> and spoke to him for two hours. <laughs> 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 Okay. I want that Rachel, one to be true. He brings a cake every day. Yep. What, what sorts of cakes? Well, last week it was carrot cake, because that's my favourite. Mm. Um, so and... sometimes he deliberately doesn't make your favourite cake. <laughs> <laughs> to show displeasure filmed, at your we... math. <laughs> <laughs> there was one he did, it was like, it looked like red velvet, but it was with beetroot. That was really good. Mm -hmm. And I think it was the Victoria's Bond. John looks yeah. gutted. <laughs> <laughs> How many cakes He's would gutted. He's almost in the Beatles. <laughs> <laughs> How many cakes would you say he's given you? Two hundred thirty-seven. Two hundred thirty-seven no. cakes. Do you get someone to have a little pet before in case he's poisoned them? <laughs> oh no, because Carol Vorderman. He comes. <laughs> So John comes and sits in the studio audience with the, the cake, and who collects the cake from him? We always have a chat at the top of the show. We've got a warm-up guy, and you go and say hi, and he's, he's there. That's what it meant! <laughs> it, it's the show, right? Countdown, or Cats Does Countdown, or, or something. It's, it's, she's there, there, she's from that, yeah? Every time, so it's just... I'm, in I'm interested to hear that Countdown has a warm-up guy, because, I mean, that audience really <laughs> is buzzing. <laughs> <laughs> what does John... Do you know anything about his life? Well, he likes Countdown. <laughs> yeah. So even though he's brought you 237 cakes, you've well, never we asked him anything about his life? <laughs> <laughs> Showbiz. <laughs> <laughs> can I see John's baking hands, or is he not allowed to move? You can have a look if you want, Josh. Yeah. Well, right. I can check if they're musicians' hands as well while I'm up yeah, here. Exactly. Yeah. There you go. What is it you're looking for there, Josh? <laughs> Just like flour under the nails. <laughs> right. <laughs> a little bit of eggshell. Those aren't the fingers of a guitar player. Right. Because they haven't Ooh. got any hard ends on them. Which is the exact oh. phrase Paul McCartney mm. used when he sacked him. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> What 
is the worst cake John has ever cooked you? He doesn't do bad cakes. No, but they're still. I like even... I like how they they concentrated on asking about the cakes because like they I don't know why out of the three stories they're believing that one the most and let's just say I'm not. They must yeah. even among 237 excellent <laughs> cakes there still has to be a worst. <laughs> right. You didn't get that like... voiceover for Greg's, did you? <laughs> Okay, we'll move on to, to Ricky. Um, I'm not an expert on music, so I'm. You've heard I'm, of the Beatles. Though. I have heard. Of the Beatles. <laughs> so how did you manage to spoil John's chances of being in the Beatles? Well, I, I had a little band in Liverpool. I used to go around, and one of my mates in my band spotted him and said, "I've seen this fella. He's great." And we poached him. What did he play? What instrument? Piano. 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 <laughs> Piano. <laughs> so. Uh, <laughs> And who's the pianist in the Beatles instead of <laughs> <laughs> So, did you approach him directly from the Beatles? Good point. No. He was never in the Beatles? No. Well, can... how do you know he would have been in the Beatles? <laughs> because the band that he was in went on to become the Beatles. What were they called? <laughs> um, first of all, it was the Quarrymen, then the Silver Beatles, and then, then the Beatles. So, I read the book about the Beatles. What's his surname? John Duflo. Don John the Flow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, you you know a lot about this. Quite... Okay, ask ask the forensic. <laughs> okay. <laughs> when John was in the whatever incarnation of the Beatles, who else was in it at the time? I, I, I think I think I think it was Pete Best. Yeah. Paul John and um, John Lennon. Matthew Mark. Luke. <laughs> John, John joined your band, Ricky. Yeah. What was your band called? The City Slickers. And did it go well for the City Slickers? I, I, think, I think John Compared was a to the bit Beatles, I, which would you say I was think John, <laughs> I think John was a bit too good for us and he didn't drink as much as us, so he got off. Did he resent that you'd taken him out of the Beatles? No, I think the hate mail is just part of the game. <laughs> You'd oh. taken him out of the Beatles. No, I think. I didn't know that. If you press J instead of K, it goes back like 10 seconds. <laughs> you learn something new every day. I imagine L goes forward. Cool. <laughs> Oops. Um, <laughs> I forgot what I was going to say. Oh, it. Um, I. I Oh, I kind of wanted to catch John, but I feel bad for him because he like he's he looks like he's so uncomfortable standing there. He's like very awkwardly just positioned there, just trying not to like emote at all or show any emotion or give away anything. But I feel like he, the poor guy is so uncomfortable. Also, I just want to mention, just think I will, um, from the thumbnails, I. <laughs> I thought I thought it was very weird though, but I thought that the this John person was I think he's British a British actor I might be wrong that he's British but a, an actor from we'll say the UK which is broader but um, The rocker guy the old rocker guy that was in love actually I can totally look him up So you guys know who the fridge I'm talking about but in the thumbnail it looks just like him and I totally thought it was him and I was like well that's weird that that guy's on wilty uh love actually cast give me one second just my f oh okay hold on I don't know how to pronounce this Bill Nye English actor there you go Nye Nye like Bill Nye the science guy okay uh that guy I thought it was from I, I thought it was him from the thumbnail anyway the hate mail is just part of the game. <laughs> <There you go. laughs> the way he's standing, he looks so uncomfortable, poor guy. David, what about Lee? Remind us of, of, of yours, Lee. Okay, so Remind is, us of your life. John, uh, after my mate John had been involved in an accident, uh, I went to visit my mate John, uh, but mistakenly sat next to this John's bed and spoke to him for two hours. Why didn't yeah. you realise it was a different John? Because this John had had uh, some bad injuries, and as a result, his jaw was all wired up, he had a bandage over his eye, and the bit that was left was a very, very black eye, lots of grazes and scabs. Oh, and my God, how did he survive? Oh, my God, that must have been a tough appendicitis operation. <laughs> <laughs> well, I never said, no, I never 
said my mate John had had an appendicitis. No, what had happened to your mate John? So my mate John, he'd been involved in a sledging accident. Uh, he's my neighbour, and someone had phoned me and said, oh, uh, John's in hospital, he's had a, a bad sledging accident. How had the accident happened? It's a weird one. You know sometimes people go to hospital and they're all right, but then they go downhill very quickly. Complete reverse. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. So, yeah, so you arrive at the hospital. Yeah. And you, do you know what ward John is in? No, I don't know what ward he's in, because I've just raced straight there. Asked his name, they sent me up to the, whatever, the third floor. I went into the, to the there's like a mini reception then, mm. and I said, uh, I'm looking for John, the guy involved in the sledging accident. You didn't mm. think to use the surname of John once you got to the mini reception? By this time, I was panicked. <laughs> so you're very emotionally close to your I'm next-door neighbour. I'm very fond of my neighbour, John. John. So yeah. you're really the pros of going to the hospital. You're panicking. Oh well, my God! Someone, no. Is he all right? Is he all right? I because can't remember John, his no, surname. No, because John, John, <laughs> John, John, my mate John lives on his own, and uh, I don't. I'm not going he to the same. He lives on his own occasionally. He goes sledging on his own. <laughs> there you go. He's a loner. He was there you a go. very active <laughs> Christmas Eve. <laughs> he was out with his grandchildren. So you got to the mini reception. Yeah. What did you say to the nurse? Um, I'm looking for John, uh, the sledging accident, and this woman uh, sort of... She, it, English wasn't her first language. She sort of said something quickly, like, point to the end of the right, so I rush up, and I'm sat in this sort of, you know, private room just, just with his bed, and I'm saying to him, you know, uh, I'm so sorry, is it, you know, you, first of all, where are the grandkids? Do you want me to, to sort anything out? And he, <laughs> and he went, oh... oh. <laughs> Which I now know to be, I think you've got the wrong person. <laughs> <laughs> when did you discover that this John wasn't your John? When I started to realise something wasn't right, was it when in his state he still managed to mime and go, oh, 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 can I just check? This is John, who's been involved in the sledging accident. And she said, no. And I said, well, when I asked you, you said to, you know... It was the same one as the one on re reception desk. This is the bit that you're not going to believe. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> it turns out this woman, whose language wasn't first language English, turns out his surname is Legging. <laughs> and thought that I'd said <laughs> John Legging... <laughs> Accident. No, his and face, please. Oh. John Legend. So unbothered. Accident. Is your, is your next door neighbour's surname Ladder by any chance? <laughs> there you go. Perfectly facetious, you know it's not. Yeah. That's my what? stepson's name. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we need an answer. So, David's team is John. I want to hear what Rachel's baking buddy, no Ricky's idea. musical mate, or Lee's poorly patient. It's not yeah. Lee, is it? We don't think it's Lee. <laughs> I think Ray thinks it might be Ricky. Yeah. You think it might be yeah. the... Yeah, I've got a feeling it could be Ricky. All the stories are so ridiculous. Um, I don't... I, I, I'm kind of leaning towards this one as well. Is it me or this guy's front teeth are very, very short? Looks like he has... Um, What's it called? Children's teeth. Is there a word for it in English? I don't know what I, I don't know. My mind is all over the place. But um, in in Spanish, well, at least in Argentina, we call them milk teeth. It would be like teeth made of milk or whatever, like children's teeth, like the ones that fall out the first teeth. I can't. Um, I don't know if. I don't know if there's a proper word for it, but whatever. It looks like he has those. Like, I feel like... Or, or somebody, like, shaved half his teeth off. Anyway, I'm getting off subject as per usual. But, um... I don't know what to believe. Like, if it's this guy... <laughs> poor John! Jeez! And if it's the cake one... It also makes me feel really bad for John, because she's, like, 100% uninterested in his life or who he is or anything about him. Unless she was just faking, hopefully. Because, like, either whatever the story is, I feel bad for the guy. Even if it's Lee's story, he had, like, no family in the hospital. Like, tell Lee Mac, like, yo, that's the wrong guy. You know, like, 
all the stories make me feel terrible for John, so I don't know which one to pick. Also, they're all kind of, you know, ludicrous, but um, I think I'm going to go with this one. Just completely screwed him over. <laughs> oh, gosh. John, show us your fingers you again. Hold your hands oh, yeah. Thank you. Oh, so, yeah, they but look wait, because like he said piano. <laughs> he said piano. Okay, well. Whatever. Yeah. Good for baking. That's exactly how he was lying when I was... <laughs> <laughs> there was no rock underneath that. Like yeah. <laughs> I think if Rachel was telling the truth, she'd have known more about his life. Yeah, because she knew very little. Yeah, she'd know, yeah, she'd know at least, like, about his life yeah, at you, all. You are yeah. quite bright, actually. <laughs> I think it might be Rachel. I don't think it's... Rachel, but okay, you, and you don't. You think you both think it's well, Ricky? Well, I'll go with Ricky. I think yeah. Okay, well, I think we're going to say it's Ricky. It's okay, the truth. right, John, would you please reveal your true identity? My name is John. I could have been in the Beatles, <laughs> but I left to join Ricky's band. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes, John oh is God. Ricky's musical mate. Thank you, John. Oh, my God. Nice to see you, oh, my God. How are you, my friend? Great my friend. friend. There you go. The last second. Poor John. Like, all the outcomes were horrible. And I don't know if that was the worst one or not. But I feel like if, if the Rachel story was true... I just, I feel maybe even worse for John because I feel like, like that story would have confirmed to me that he was a very lonely person and that just makes me sad. So, like, I don't know what the best story is. Like, I, 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 no outcome would have made me happy for John, but, but whatever. He was smiling about it. He got over it. <laughs> Poor thing. Anyway, um... If he's, like, still friends with this guy, it's because it's all been forgiven and it's all well and, and he's fine. He's fine, guys. Don't feel sorry for John. He's fine. <laughs> anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Oh, uh, there we go. I'm in focus. I really hope you enjoyed. These are fun. These I li I really like the This Is My segments of, of Would I Lie To You. I feel like they're so much fun. And that's why I, it's one of the reasons I kind of I have a lot of compilations to watch, like, um... Miles Jupp or something like that and well there's several compilations of certain comedians that have been on Wilty several times and stuff and I like watching them but there's always like two or three this is mine and I only get like one story of it and I prefer to have the three stories to you know make proper judgment and hear all the ridiculousness and understand all the jokes in, in between and all that so I uh, like I've been trying I've been wanting to watch some of the compilations but like I've been putting them off for that specific reason but whatever, uh, at some point, anything can happen, right? Anyway, guys, 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 I hope you are having a jolly Christmas time, pre-Christmas time, Christmas Eve. <laughs> Not pre-Christmas. It's the same thing. It's first it's pre-Christmas, then it's Christmas Eve, and then it's Christmas, and then it's Christmas post. <laughs> or post-Christmas. But um, there you go, guys. Just enjoy it. Enjoy your lives. Be happy. There's like especially good food around these seasons. Everybody's making, you know, just especially you guys with the cold and stuff. It, it's the perfect time to eat all those fatty, high caloric or however you say that caloric, caloric, whatever, high calories kind of foods and stuff because, you know, you got to keep the, the body warm and stuff. So just eat, guys. <laughs> It's been so hot here. Nobody's been hungry. I haven't been hungry. I've barely, I've barely been eating anything. Cause just, just when it's so hot and the humidity and just, it's just like you're just eh, all day. <laughs> but you guys, you guys need it. So like enjoy it. All the yummy foods this time of year with the cold and stuff. So anyway, that um, I'm a fat ass. Guys, have a great one. Continue enjoying your lives and your families and you know everything that this season brings about i will be around i will continue to watch and work and all these things and words so yeah guys thank you all for everything thank you i have been receiving donations and 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 you know 
support and, and members and patrons and all those things guys thank you so much <laughs> it is so overwhelming to me that just the support overall i am getting it's just it's a lot it's a lot to deal with and i'm i'm uh it's just it's i i'm i'm so grateful and it's just it's overwhelming you know how those uh those weird christmas commercial special things don't make me cry well, if I linger on about too much about, you know, all the support I've been getting, I can get misty-eyed. So we're just going to end it here because I do not want to get misty-eyed. <laughs> so we're just going to leave. Goodbye, good night, and toodles. Toodles.